Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are going to do some more Pentatonics. We're going to do the uh, live performance of Hallelujah from uh, a Pentatonics Christmas special. It's seven years old. It's an old one, but it's the most viewed live version of the song. So I thought we should probably check it out. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, but before we do that, I just want to remind everybody that we've got a special tier on the Patreon just for Pentatonics fans. Um, and in there, you'll get access to exclusive content, all the reactions to the, so not live performances, live performance reactions don't get blocked. It's the normal like record versions that always get blocked. So when those go on YouTube and they get immediately blocked, they go straight onto Patreon and they're available immediately on the Patreon. So there's no waiting for the appeal for them to be unblocked. So you, you'll be getting them straight away. Um, and some things, you know, go onto the Patreon and don't end up on YouTube for a while. So the Sound of Silence reaction that I uploaded, uh, was it just after Christmas? That was on Patreon for about a month before it went onto YouTube. And uh, there's another one as well that was on P Patreon for a while before it went onto YouTube. And there's exclusive content on there, giveaways, we're going to be doing giveaways and stuff like that. Um, and also, when you join, you don't pay at first. You uh, get a free seven-day trial, so you can like check it out. And plus, you get access to pretty much on most of my other exclusive content as well. Because when I put stuff on Patreon, I just check, you know, all members, all paid members. But I know, you know, most of you Pentasonics fans, you don't care about the other stuff on the channel. You just here for the music. So I don't know why I mentioned that because that's not going to interest you. But it's there if you want it. If you, you know, if you'd actually like to support the channel and not just like watch one video and then leave and never come back again, which I've been noticing most people do, you know, I mean you get a few people that, that have, in fact no, I don't think I've ever noticed a person comment more than once, have I? The people that have joined the Patreon, the Pentonics fan club, you know, obviously I, they're loyal because they're still there, but I don't think I've ever had one person on YouTube that I've seen more than once. Anyway, it's there if you want to go check it out. So if you want exclusive content and stuff, go check that out. But uh, yeah, let's do this. I've heard there was a secret chord That David played and it pleased the Lord But you don't really care for music, do you? Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major league. I love that part. The barefoot king composing hallelujah. Mm, I like that. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. know what they're doing with the choreography, don't they? Faith was strong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof. Her beauty in the moonlight only through you. She tied you to the kitchen chair. She broke your throne and she cut your hair. How similar that is to just the normal music video record version, the you know, the original. What do you call it? Do you call it the record? No, you can't call it the record version these days because no one buys records anymore. But let's just call it the original version, right? The studio version. There you go. Studio. That's that's the right term, isn't it? Yeah. The studio. It sounds how much he sounds like. I'm talking about Avi Scott when he first started. He sounded like that as well but then he started adding a couple of little different things you know like the key that he sang certain parts in changed a couple of bits but it was still like really close but Avi it's exactly the same and that's how you know any band or any artist that does that 
you know, Michael Jackson was the same, Queen was the same, uh, Whitney Houston, you know, people, the big, big stars, they were so good that when they were doing it live, they sounded just as good, if not better. Sometimes they sounded better, actually, on stage. Queen certainly did. But yeah, Avi, he sounds just like he did on the on the studio vote. That wow. She tied you to the kitchen chair. She broke your throne and she cut your hair. Exactly the same. She drew the hallelujah. That bit as well. things like that it just reminds just a little reminder that no this isn't this is life you know and they, they these guys they actually have to do that because there's, there'll be a lot of people out there you know like, so i'm guessing this was on tv as well people that have never heard of these guys before they'd watch this and they'd think that's not real that's not live that's just that that's over that's dubbed because it's so good it's so clean you know, it, it, it's perfect, literally perfect. So when you put that little, the way she sang that last note, it's just, you know, reminds you. The people that have heard the studio version of the song before this, at least, they can appreciate that, you know, they can appreciate those little additions, just so they know, oh shit, it's live. You know, I mean, there's no reason to doubt them. You know, they're not Motley Crue. The Pentatonics aren't Motley Crue. They actually perform their music. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I see you, Nicky. We all know you're a bullshitter. We know you're lying. We know you can't play bass for shit. You've lied to us for what forty years. Yeah, I'll never forgive him for that. Mick Mars for life.
Wow. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, I can see why that's the most viewed version, live version of the song. That was, wow. Yeah, that was. I know I've said it quite a few times, but it really was just, you know, you can't get closer than that. So many parts of that performance where you could literally just play that to somebody. It wasn't, it was only a, the, the studio version and they'd think they were still listening to it. Edit out the crowd and any other sounds that make it obvious that it's a stage performance and most people won't be able to tell the difference. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> that was lovely. Absolutely lovely. Oh, yes. Just gets better and better, doesn't it, with these people, these these guys just oh. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. Mitch, his part was... Oh, I mean, all of them. Everything about it is just... It just fits, you know? Even the, you know, the... The wardrobe that they'd gone for with that night. They all, you know, they all look... The part, they just... Everything about them... They've got such a great image, you know? They always look good, they always sound good. It's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair that this group of people have been given all that talent. <laughs> you know? It's no wonder this generation's low on talent, because these guys were born and they took all of it. <laughs> Don't bother having kids, because you've no hope. They've no hope. Because these... Oh, wait, no. Also, maybe Kevin and... Um... I always get this wrong, don't I? Do I... Is it Matt or Will? It's one or the other, isn't it? Is it, is it Matt? They'll be having kids, won't they? Like, biological kids. Imagine not, not gay people can have biological kids as well. They can have a donor, uh, uh, not a donor. They don't, right, yeah, so, oh no, so they could all have kids then. So they'll, you know, produce offspring and then the talent pool will just be cleaned out once more. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Imagine if Scott had a kid. Born with his talent. That's, you know, the next 50 million parents just might as well just give up all hope. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother thinking that your kid's got a chance at, in performing art. Put him into football or something. You've, that's the only hope you've got left, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm joking, obviously. Don't work like that. But yeah, it is just absolutely... It, it's so good that these guys found each other by chance. You know, because... Even if they knew each other since they were like two years old, it's still a chance meeting because they're not related. They are just friends. They're not related by blood. So, you know, all friends that you meet, it was, just, it was just by chance. But it's so good for us that that happened, that that chance meeting, whenever it took place, wherever it took place, took place. Because look what we get out of it. We get these incredible singers that give us these performances, these massive hits that we've already heard from the original artists. But they take them... And they just do something with them that it they make it their own. And that is one hell of a talent. You know, anybody can start a cover band. You know, you, you go look out throughout the UK, any pub or, you know, any pub with like a, a live music area where you can play it, plug in a speaker. They have live cover bands, tribute bands. You know, you, mostly you get ABBA or... Uh, 
Duran Duran maybe and bands like that. And they'll be they'll, they'll be alright. They'll be they can sing, but they're nowhere near. They just dress the same as them and call themselves a tribute band. But these take it a step further. They don't just cover it, they oh wow. It's like they really do upgrade these songs. It's like an upgrade. Yeah, such a pleasure. It's always a pleasure to listen to them. You know, it is such a privilege just to hear them. And if I ever get to see them live one day, I'll be very, very grateful. Consider myself very lucky, but I doubt I ever will. But, mm, yeah, that was absolutely perfect. So I'm going to leave it there. Which is your favourite performance of Hallelujah? Live performance. Is it this one? We did do another one. Where is it? Ah, there. The one at the Hollywood Bowl in 2022. So which is your favourite? Is it that one? This one? Or is there another one that I haven't seen? Maybe the, I think when I searched this up, there was one more. Because obviously that one came up. The one that we've already done. This one. And another one. Obviously, I picked this one because I have the most views. So, yeah. Which is your favourite? Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. So, thank you, everybody, for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe. And, as I said, check out the uh, Pentatonix fan club on Patreon. As I said, it's $2 a month. Which is, what, 50 cents a week. If you're in England, it's even cheaper. It'd be like 40 pence a week, 30 pence a week or something, I don't know. I, I, the pound is literally on its ass right now. It could be 10 pence a week versus the dollar, knowing the state our country's in. But it's cheaper versus how much it's going to cost in American. So, yeah, definitely check it out. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the reaction. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.